Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to morning prayer. It's Wednesday, the 22nd of July. Uh, it's uh, it's not quite as bright and sunny as it has been uh, recently, but uh, it's still a lovely day, and it's great to be with you. I hope uh, hope you're all doing well, uh, and it's a real pleasure to be uh, leading you in morning prayer this morning. Uh, as usual, we'll wait a couple of minutes for people to join us. If you're new to morning prayer, then uh, welcome, uh, a really warm welcome to you. Um, this morning is, is slightly different in the fact that uh, it is Wacky Wednesday, so uh, our prayers will be slightly less traditional than than uh, they might normally be, um, and hopefully we'll have some fun and uh, you'll be able to share them with maybe uh, kids that you know, children, grandchildren, um, and getting uh, helping them to pray as well, helping to lead them in prayer. Um, so we're looking at uh, we're, th- we're thinking about Disney prayers this morning. So um, th- that should be good fun. And, uh, and we're also thinking um, particularly about Mary Magdalene this morning. So she comes up, we've got a very short New Testament reading, which is her. So I'm just going to check um, our sound as I normally do. And hopefully you'll be able to, uh, to hear us. So as, as you join in, please do share um, any, uh, any requests that you have um, for prayer any friends or or family that um, you would like to be praying for or situations and we'll have time within our intercessions to to pray for everyone then um, so as I say this morning we're um, it's, it's wacky Wednesday so we've got some Disney prayers uh, and we're going to be thinking about uh, uh, Disney songs in particular uh, but before we do that we've we're uh, just reflecting on uh, the life and and the impact that Mary Magdalene had it's her uh, it's a day when we remember her um, in particular today. And uh, it's a very short reading. So our readings are Psalm 30 this, this morning. And then it's Luke chapter 8. And it's just three verses, one to three, um, talking very briefly about Mary Magdalene. But there's, there's not a lot that we know about her, um, really. I'm sure there's lots written. But in terms of that we can be sure about, we know that um, she was a wealthy woman. And we'll find out in the reading that she's um, within a group of women who were financing and helping to finance Jesus's ministry, which I absolutely love. I think it's fantastic, especially uh, when you see alongside her uh, one of the women that was financing Jesus's ministry. Her husband was in uh, Herod's uh, court. So uh, Herod was indirectly financing Jesus, Jesus's ministry, which always makes me chuckle. Um, but uh, Mary Magdalene, she was a, a wealthy woman who was helping to finance the ministry of Jesus, which is incredible, and helping in other ways, I'm sure. Um, we know that Jesus healed her, and he really valued her. Um, she witnessed the crucifixion and the burial of Jesus. She was there. She didn't leave Jesus' side. And she was one of the first, or the first, to witness uh, the resurrected Jesus. And what a person to choose. So we know that Mary must have been an incredible uh, woman for Jesus to have her that close throughout his ministry. Um, so we're remembering her today. But as I say, we're also um, think, having a little think about uh, uh, some of our Disney uh, heroines, I suppose, and the heroes and some of the songs. And, and we're going to pray using some of those songs this morning. So I've got Olaf to help me. Um, Olaf is, is one of the best characters from Frozen, maybe the best. I don't want to start a war with that, but um, I, I, possibly Lucy even thinks maybe I love Frozen even more than the kids. Brilliant film. If you haven't watched it, do watch it. Um, but we'll pray using some of those kids' uh, style prayers this morning. But uh, as I say, do add in any uh, names of people or uh, situations that you would like us to pray for this morning. So let's, let's pray together. The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. God is close to those who trust in him. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, some of the light of your presence, God, 
set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And so our psalm is Psalm 30. And it says, I will exalt you, Lord, for you lifted me out of the depths and did not let my enemies gloat over me. Lord, my God, I called to you for help and you healed me. You, Lord, brought me up from the realm of the dead. You spared me from going down to the pit. Sing the praises of the Lord. You, his faithful people, praise his holy name. For his, lang his anger lasts only a moment. His favour lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. When I felt secure, I said, I shall never be shaken. Lord, when you favoured me, you made me, you made my royal mountain stand firm. But when you hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, Lord, I called. To the Lord, I cried for mercy. What is gained if I am silenced, if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it proclaim your faithfulness? Hear, Lord, and be merciful to me, Lord. Be my help. You turned my wailing into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy, that my heart may sing your praises and not be silent. Lord my God, I will praise you forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I love reading the Psalms because they're so honest. Uh, I think uh, David and, and those that wrote the Psalms know how to be honest about times that they were frustrated, and times when they were joyous, and times when they were lamenting and I think we've all had a, a real mixture of those times during the last few months. So let's, uh, let's now read uh, Luke chapter 8 verses 1 to 3, that short little scripture about Mary Magdalene and think about the impact that she had on the ministry of Jesus and beyond um, to, uh, to us now. So it's Luke chapter 8, verses 1 to 3. After this, Jesus travelled about from one town and village to another, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. The twelve were with him, and also some women who had been cured of evil spirits and diseases. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had come out. Joanna, the wife of Chusa, the manager of Herod's household. Susanna and many others. These women were helping to support them out of their own means. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. And so, I, as we uh, go into our time of intercessions now, some of you have already started sharing prayers, which is fantastic, uh, in the comments, and we will um, share those together. But if any more, uh, would, if you'd like to add any more, please do. I'll do my best to find them all amongst the comments. So let's uh, find our inner child today, that bit of us that gets excited about films and, and Disney-type things and, and things that make us smile. And we'll use the lyrics from some fairly famous Disney songs, maybe some more recent than you might know, but uh, they will help us as we pray today. So Almighty and Everlasting God, 
we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So the first song that we're going to, to use is from a film called Tangled, which is about Rapunzel. And she sees lights outside her window and she sings. When at last I see the light and it's like the fog has lifted. And at last I see the light and it's like the sky is new and it's warm and real and bright. And the world has somehow shifted all at once. Everything looks different now that I see you. So let's now thank God that he brings light in the darkness and that light changes lives. It changes our lives and it can change the lives of those we know and love and those who we don't yet know. So let's pray for all of those who need light in their lives. And praise God for the light that he brings into our own lives. Amen. The next uh, Disney song that I'm going to use is, is one that you may well know called The Bare Necessities from The Jungle Book. And it was sung by uh, Baloo. He said, look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities of Mother Nature's recipes that bring about, that bring the bare necessities of life. So let us now thank God for all we have. For all the things that maybe sometimes we take for granted. Whether that be people or resources or, or things around us that we're fortunate to be able to call our own. And let's also now pray for people who are in need at this time, who maybe don't have those things that we take for granted. We pray that God provides for them and that he nudges us to help others as well. If we can provide for others, we pray now that God can support us to, to know what to do and let's spend a moment in silence, listening to God, to hear his voice guide us today to support others. Now, uh, a, a song from one of my favourite Disney films, Toy Story, a song called You've Got a Friend in Me, which is always great fun. And they sing, you've got a friend in me, when the, wo when the road looks rough ahead, and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed, you just remember what your old pal said, boy, you've got a friend in me. So let's use that to ask God to help us help our friends and show them the help uh, that they need and help us to help them. So let's pray now for those who are mentioned in our comments this morning. We pray for our friends. We pray for Lucy. We pray for Tony, Catherine, Rob and Carlton. We pray for teachers and educational staff. They can now get some rest during the summer holidays after all that they have done during lockdown. We pray for Anita, for Lauren, Marlene, Russell, Jill and Peter. We pray for Clive and Yvonne, for Sue, Andrew, Kate, Archie, 
Meyer and for Diana's family and friends in Texas. We pray for John, he's currently in hospital. And we pray for another John and Paul. We pray for Sue, for Sam, Mark, Karen, Jackie, and for all those who are living in countries with limited health care or are struggling to cope during this time with COVID-19. We pray for both Tonys, for Rich, Lucy and the boys after their first night sleeping, sleeping Kimber. Bless each of them, Charlie, Toby and Luca. And we pray for Debs, Pete and Caleb as they begin their preparations to move. We pray for Karen, Mark, Joy, Myrtle, Carol, Sharon, and all carers, and for Bob and Brian. Bless all of these people, Lord. We thank you that we have wonderful friends. And we pray for all those who are in real need of your care today. Amen. And our final song is from uh, a film which is fairly recent, it's a Frozen 2, where the big, one of the big tracks is called Into the Unknown. And so as we go out into our day today, I thought we could think about this. And Elsa sings, everyone I've ever loved is here within these walls. I'm sorry, Secret Siren, but I'm blocking out your calls. I've had my adventure. I don't need something new. I'm afraid of what I'm risking if I follow you into the unknown. And sometimes it can feel a little bit scary as we wake up in the morning and, and go into a, a new day, especially for children who are unsure at this time what life will bring. So we ask now that God will help us with things that we're unsure about. As we go into the unknown of this new day, we pray that God will strengthen our faith in him and bring us peace. And that today will be a joyful day, full of love and hope. Amen. So we commend ourselves and all whom we pray for to the mercy and protection of God. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in the comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And so our collect prayer this morning is thinking particularly of Mary Magdalene. So we pray, Almighty God, whose Son restored Mary Magdalene to health of mind and body and called her to be a witness to his resurrection. Forgive our sins and heal us by your grace, that we may serve you in a power of his risen life, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us, in whatever form you feel most comfortable. And again, I'm going to use a child's version of the Lord's Prayer. So let's pray. Dear God, our Father, who lives in heaven, there is power in your name. We trust your ways from your kingdom in heaven all the way down to earth where we live. Please provide all we need today. Forgive our mistakes as we forgive those who make mistakes against us. Help us to make good choices and protect us from all that is evil. Everything we have and do is all for you. So everyone we meet will see you in us forever and ever. Amen. So the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil. 
and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you for joining us all this morning. It's as usual, it is wonderful to be part of this community of prayer and it's a great way to start the day uh, centering ourselves on God and remembering what he can be doing in our lives today. Uh, so let's go forward and um, I'm going to be sending nice warm hugs from Olaf and myself and I hope you have a really blessed day. So I shall see you uh, soon. God bless. Bye bye.